I sometimes wish I was as carefree as my dog, Charlie. He's always happy. Even the slightest thing like me coming home, even if I've only been gone three minutes, causes him to jump for joy, literally. Is it possible for humans to be that happy and still function normally? A uh, beautiful question. I love when we uh, look to masters uh, of this being divine. And animals, I truly believe, are masterful at following the flow of grace that underlies life. You know, we said the space is the most important thing in the room. Animals can read space, you know, they, they know it, they value it, they focus on it, they see it more clearly than we humans who have these minds that are so wrapped up in thinking so many things that we think are so important. When you begin to see people who, um, people could say are, are simple, people or people who focus on uh, just less intellect and more of engagement and being in the moment, you start to see a capacity to intuit and to feel more. Uh, there's so much that we miss that we are not aligned with when we're constantly caught up in that cogitating mind. Yes, we all have the capacity to be as joyful and full of delight as our beautiful dogs and sentient beings, all the animals, our, our beautiful, beloved pets. We just have to learn from them and realize that, you know, sometimes the mind is overrated. In this path of coming back to the miraculousness of who we truly are, we use the mind to beat the mind often. We choose once again and we watch how if something is being a problem for us or something's a, a challenge to us that all we have to do is take a big deep breath and choose again and we always have the capacity to do that when we don't admit that we have that capacity then we make ourselves into something we're not and that's really hard to live with we see ourselves as separate from our own true divine capacities. What the dog does is knows it's divine. You know, someone once said dog is God spelled backwards. <laughs> and I love that because it's such a reminder that when you are in that state of just full out appreciation and full out joy and full out love, and you're not apologizing for looking like you're too much and it could look messy and it could look crazy, but that's okay because I'm fully engaged and I'm going to show you how much I love you. I'm going to show you how much I appreciate you. I'm going to show you how much I love this bone. I'm going to show you how much I love this breeze blowing through my face. It's, it's the thing that we crave to be that engaged with life. Become innocent like that and you are who you are and you'll live a life that's completely aligned with the divine in every way. We will have a greater access to the intuition and to these expanded senses when we are aligned that way. So know that there's the best is yet to come. When you want to emulate your dog, then you're in good territory. You're with noble, noble, truthful beings and allow yourself to know that that's every much as powerful a path as wanting to emulate a Buddha. They, they know how to live out loud, unconditional love. Just let yourself be that loving always. <laughs>